Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow lettuce in spider former hydroponic system. This is the latest model of spider former with lots of upgrades, especially with 36 voltage lights. I recently published a video calling out all the upgrades in this 2023 model compared to the previous model. Please find the link in the description below if you are interested. Coming back to the experiment, the lettuce variety I am growing is the Paris Island Coast Lettuce. This is a romaine variety and this is my favorite lettuce. I have been very successful growing this lettuce in aero gardens and other hydroponic systems. Let's see how this will turn out in spider former. I am placing 3 to 4 seeds in each pod and I will use all 12 pods. That's it, the garden is ready. As always, I will add water but I will not add nutrition right away. I will start adding nutrition once I see the seedlings. By the way, I will use maxi grow nutrition throughout this grow cycle. If everything goes well, I should be able to start harvesting the lettuce in 30 days. Let's see. It's been 7 days. Germination is pretty good. I see seedlings in 9 out of 12 pods. Some of the pods have multiple seedlings. Now that I see the seedlings, I will start adding nutrition. As I mentioned earlier, I will use MaxiGrow nutrients throughout this grow cycle. MaxiGrow is dry nutrients. I will dissolve these dry nutrients into some plain water and dump the nutrient solution straight into the bowl. For lettuce, I use 1 teaspoon of nutrients for every 1 liter of water. Since the bowl capacity of this spider former is 6 liters, I will add 6 teaspoons of nutrients at this time. Alright, I dissolved 6 teaspoons of dry nutrients into about 200 ml of water. Now I am pouring the solution straight into the bowl. Day 15, seedlings are coming very nice. In fact, I can call it lettuce from now on. All plants are developing multiple leaves and they are growing very well. Lettuce plants usually take more time to establish well, but once they are well established, they pick up the growth really fast. Day 25. Look at this beautiful and dense garden. It is coming excellent. Wow, lots of lettuce. This is the same growth I saw when I was growing in Aero Garden Harvest. Wider and stronger leaves. I should start harvesting lettuce and I should be little aggressive. Otherwise, it is going to be very overcrowded with 12 plants in this small garden. I see very similar growth on all 12 plants. So, it is very clear that the light is strong and the light distribution is excellent to all the plants. Day 30. Look at my lettuce form. I can make multiple salad bowls. It is time to start harvesting this beautiful lettuce. It is very easy to harvest this lettuce variety. Just pull the leaves sideways and pull them one at a time. Easy peasy. I always enjoy all my lettuce experiments. Here are the plants after harvesting. I still have enough lettuce for my lunch or dinner anytime. Day 33. It is pretty much harvesting, harvesting and harvesting from this point. Day 35. I have been harvesting lettuce pretty much every day and it is coming back very nice. I see the water level is down below 2 liters, so I am going to refill some water today. I will add 2 liters of water at this time. So, I prepared nutrient solution with 2 teaspoons of dry nutrients. First, I am adding the nutrients. Then, I am adding water. As I mentioned earlier, I have been using 1 teaspoon of MaxiGro nutrients for every 1 liter of water. This journey will continue for about 2 months. 
I will keep you updated with rest of the growth cycle in a follow up video. So please stay tuned. Overall, I am extremely happy with this experiment. I have been liking Aerogodin Harvest for lettuce for many years. Now Spider Farmer joined the club. In fact, now I am liking Spider Farmer more than Aerogodin for lettuce. Nearly same price. However, Spider Farmer comes with bigger bowl, better lights and it supports 12 pods. We can grow lettuce twice the quantity compared to the Aerogodin Harvest. Alright, that is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.